Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a request. We're going to do some um, glass harp. And glass harp, give me one second. Glass harp is for a roundabout. Thank you so much, roundabout, for sponsoring the video, for doing the request. Um, I do appreciate it. I've never heard this band. We're going to do the song Look in the Sky. And this is live um, at Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Uh, and I got some actually some notes here from Roundabout. Thank you so much. This is 1971, even though it says two, 2011. And he pointed that out in the email. I do appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. So um, I uh, I don't know what I'm getting into. Let's just, you know, enjoy. And I hope everybody here has a great time. If you if you enjoy the video, you can give it a like. If you didn't, you can give it a dislike, whatever you feel like. Thank you so much, though, for being here. And uh, thank you, Roundabout, for the request. Here we go. And have fun. Test. Welcome, one and all, tonight from JV's and Kent State University in Ohio, all the way to Carnegie Hall. Let us please welcome Decca recording artist, The Glass Heart.
like first of all the recording is so i love that it's a little bit like i don't know like it's not the best quality but it gives it so much character you know like they're live it's, everything is kind of like running through the maybe there's like three four channels or something i love the amount of flanger he has on his guitar or it's like heavy chorus oh my god but when he started to play the actual lead i love that he does all these little subtleties like these arpeggios or arpeggiated like you know chords and then the way like the solo, the scales he was using, beautiful, beautiful language, beautiful choice of notes, very different um, from like the pentatonic scale, the typical blues. It was just more like, I don't know, it sounded more like what something, something like Joe Satriani would do 20 years later, you know, uh, very, very cool, very legato like, very beautiful i thought he was like for a second i, was, I thought he was using a, a, a slide but i don't think so um very cool i've never heard of this man or this band very very nice also enjoy the singing it's just a great track really really cool um can't wait to hear what's next because it did change i i hope i paused at the right section <laughs> okay <laughs> solo was 
freaking insane. It was sick. It was so not what I expected it to be. It was that's what I love when when that so when a guitarist like surprises me, you know, like because I've heard so many solos and especially at that time they pretty much use the same scales and stuff but this guy whew, and then the volume swell i i did a video the other day and i i kind of like demonstrated how it's done you can do it with the foot pedal or you can do it with the volume knob but whew, that sounded sweet and then also the those bendings he was doing he went in a totally different direction than I expected. And that is something that I love because he surprised me. The element of surprise was like, whoa, what did he just play? That is something that I aspire to, you know, um, especially with guitar solos. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, man, I can't wait to listen to more. I mean, I've never ha heard this man. It's very, very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, ah, oh man. Okay, so let's keep going. freaking amazing i can't even believe uh who what was this james gang let me see wait 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 okay let me just do a little bit of research i gotta know Because I saw it's 
me. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? Hmm. Do Lord? No. Well, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm just wasting your time. You, you guys probably already know who's the guitar player. I'll look it up right now and, uh, or you put it in the comment section, but this guy's insane. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to like listen to this on repeat and learn some new licks. Uh, it was very cool. Very good. I love that from start to finish this guy. It's just on a different level, you know, for 1971, there's all these guitar players, you know, there's all these big names, but there's other people and they're just better, you know, so I don't want to name drop anything because it creates drama, but um, I've heard a lot of famous guitar players from the 70s and you know, they don't, uh, they're not on that, on this level, this is different. Um, and everybody kind of knows it, but I know when you have a guitar, favorite guitar player, you won't let go. I'm the same, you know, but, um, yeah, I just know when I hear something that it's special. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much roundabout. This was awesome. Thank you for giving me another lesson in music. And I, I do appreciate it. I hope everybody enjoys this as much as I did. This was freaking amazing. Thank you. Glass harp is on my is now in my I have it on target now <laughs> thank you so much for being here and I see you guys in the next one take care